today we are going to do new topic perimeter and area let's begin with perimeter first children let us have a look at the following pictures in this picture i want to know the length of the photo frame here a ribbon is put around a tablecloth and here i want to know the cost of fencing the kitchen garden in all these situations we measure the total boundary children total length of the boundary of a closed figure is called its perimeter the word perimeter comes from the greek word peri metron where peri means around and metron means measure thus perimeter is the measure around a closed figure as we have seen in the above pictures let's understand perimeter of irregular polygons polygon is a simple closed figure made up of three or more line segments a polygon with unequal sides and angles is called irregular polygon children for finding the perimeter of irregular polygons just add the lengths of all its sides unit of perimeter is same as the unit of length of the side of a closed figure now here we have some irregular polygons in the first figure let's find out the perimeter so perimeter is sum of all the sides of the given figure so we have 100 plus 120 plus 90 plus 45 plus 60 plus 80 and we get here 495 as the unit of the length of its sides is meter so we write 495 meters now next figure is of rectangle here l represents the length of the rectangle and b represents the breadth of the rectangle and the perimeter of rectangle is the sum of all its four sides so here we have two lengths and two breadths so let's write perimeter of rectangle is equal to two lengths plus two breadths two we can take it as common and in brackets we get length plus breadth now let's find out the perimeter of rectangle when length is nine centimeter and breadth is five centimeter so let's put the values of length and breadth in the formula so we have perimeter is equal to 2 into 9 plus 5 and we get here 2 into 14 which is equal to 28 centimeters now next figure is of scalene triangle in scalene triangle all sides are unequal so perimeter is the sum of the length of all its three sides so here perimeter is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 6 which is equal to 15 centimeters now isosceles triangle is also in uh, irregular polygon so perimeter is the sum of the lengths of its three sides <coughs> so we have perimeter is equal to 6 plus 6 plus 5 which is equal to 17 centimeters now 
let's understand the perimeter of regular polygons a polygon with all the sides and angles equal is called regular polygon perimeter of a regular polygon is equal to number of sides into length of the side here we have some regular polygons now first is equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle all the three sides are equal so perimeter is equal to number of sides which is 3 into length of the side which is 4 so here we have 12 centimeters now next figure is of square and we know in square all the four sides are equal so perimeter of a square is equal to number of sides which is 4 and the length of the side which is 5 so we get here 20 centimeters now next figure is of pentagon in pentagon all the five sides are equal so the perimeter of regular pentagon is equal to number of sides which is 5 into length of its side which is 4 so we get here 20 centimeters next we have hexagon and children in hexagon all the six sides are equal so the perimeter is equal to number of sides which is 6 into side which is 3 so we have 18 centimeter children remember while finding the perimeter of a given figure always check that all dimensions of the figure should be in the same unit and do not forget to put units in the answer and children to find the cost of fencing we have to find out the length of its boundary which is its perimeter so cost of fencing is equal to perimeter multiplied by cost per unit children i hope you have understood the concept of perimeter and for worksheet questions do exercise 17.1 question 1 and 2 thank you